just a, a heck of a team win for us. It really was. That first half, and I told Co Coach Marshall that that was as well as we played. Uh, give a lot of credit to Lou Godino, <clears throat> associate head coach, uh, for the game plan going into it. Our guys followed it to a T. Took them out of rhythm a little bit of what they like to do. Um, the second half, I didn't know if we were ever going to score. Uh, but I, I truly think they're one of the better teams in the country. It's certainly top 15, not a doubt in my mind. And to come in here and win in this environment, to, it's a lot of fun to play here. We love coming here uh, because the, the fan support is so great. Uh, they're a well-coached, well-put-together team. And uh, the team in blue uh, played awfully hard and, and, and earned a very, very difficult win. What? Greg, uh, you went with a 2-3 zone, which uh, you guys obviously rarely do. Just talk about that first and how it kind of got you in a, in a position to uh, get Wichita State off track a little bit. We hard, you know, we try to work on it a little bit every other day. And every game we've kind of gone into, we we're maybe going to use it a few possessions here and there. Uh, Lou thought it would be a great idea to, 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 with their game plan to switch things up on them. So we, uh, on a miss, we were back in man-to-man -man on zone, on, the, on our makes that we'd, we'd zone a little bit. My dad used to do that way back in the day. So um, I thought the guys really followed it. Uh, they did a great job with it, just taking them out of rhythm a little bit. You know, it's, it's difficult. We're not a great zone team. They're not a great zone team. And, and you know, it's just not something that coaches work on all that much. And, and they didn't shoot very well. You know, I, I, we're, our defense was pretty good, but sometimes the ball isn't going through the net. They took a lot of threes, and it was better for us because we only took a, a 11 tonight. But it's not something I even want to work on in practice for five minutes, but our guys really did a good job. Wichita State had a period, I believe, where they went from the nine-minute mark to the 22nd mark without a field goal. Uh, Talk about the defensive effort in that stretch to uh, keep them. I, I thought our defense was really good the whole game. Obviously, they're one of the better offensive rebounding teams. And Carl Hall, I, I can't wait till he graduates. He just he goes and gets it. When a ball goes up there, he'll go out of it. He reminds me a lot of Reggie Evans that uh, I had a pleasure of coaching at Iowa. He's just a, he's a warrior. He's a beast. He's a difficult matchup. Um, their best offense for with him is a missed shot because he just goes and gets it. But our defense was really good. Uh, we contested shots. We kept the ball. Uh, pretty much for the, the whole game from the from penetrating. And uh, granted, they missed some, but uh, after uh, if we kept them off the offensive glass, uh, our defense was pretty good. Is this the biggest win for your team this season? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I you know, I, I try to – we've had some big wins over some really good teams. What do you think? Probably? So yeah, I think it's probably the biggest win this, <laughs> this year. Well. Just because of the environment. And yeah, the, yeah. And Again, it's – you know, I give – we love coming here, and I got friends across the bench from us, so we know that we respect these guys a lot. They're always well coached. Uh, again, they're ranked 14th in the country, so yeah, it's probably the biggest win of the season so far, and we hope it's not the biggest. Hopefully not. Greg, there were uh, significant stretches of this game where you maintained what you were able to do without Jake on the floor. In particular, Devontae Brown was a spark on both ends. Talk about, you know, as big as this win is to basically sustain what you've been doing without him on the floor was uh, pretty big. Yeah, and, we, and it's the, these guys can all play. You know, Devontae, I thought he was a key in the first half. He, he was terrific, and so was Dewan and Christian coming off the bench. Those guys are all good players, and, and what, especially going in tonight, you want to, when you come off the bench, you can't come in passive. If you, if, if you come in passive against these guys, they smell that, that blood in the water, and it's over. They'll take you right out of it real quick. So our guys really came in. We wanted to be in tack mode against their press, and, and we did that. We got some big key baskets off it. Uh, uh, guy sitting next to me here got some key steals, and Dewan and, and Devontae and Christian all shot that passing lane and got some uh, extra possessions for us as well. How big, Greg, was the shot that, uh, that uh, Cummings hit to kind of oh. right the ship? Down huge. Something. Like I said, I don't know if we're ever going to score again. I really didn't. And, and Dewan's got some guts. Uh, he does, you know, and that was something coming into this game. Uh, I want to talk about some courage and some guts and some intestinal fortitude. And, and Dewan, from right down there at Coffeeville, uh, with his with his JUCO coach in the stands, hit a big bucket for us. Manny, another play was uh, Justin jumped between. I think it was early and uh, and uh, Carl Hall. You were able to swoop up and get a a bucket on the other end. Uh, you know, just talk about. You know, that was the play that kind of got you guys going at the end of the game. You know, just talk about those effort plays that you guys just managed to get on the road and uh, to get you over the top. Well, uh, coach preached that all the time. Is uh, make an effort play. Uh, you know, because we're not the most talented team all the time. We're going to play teams that are more talented than us. And there's one thing that he always reminded us is just always play with that effort, always play with the chip on your shoulder. If there's a loose ball on the floor, you know, he wants us to dive for, on the, uh, dive for the ball and just trying to get all the 50-50 all the balls. It's something that he preached every day in practice, before game, during game. 
And so we all trying to pride ourselves up with that. Uh, so that was, that's always our focus to go after those uh, loose balls or just, just making that play. You guys have worked on some zone in, in practice, but were you surprised to see it implemented uh, right off the bat in the game? Was, did that surprise you a little bit? Uh, no, because it, it was part of the game plan coming into it. So kind of knew we were going to use it once. So I said that. Greg, you, you took uh, a little amount with six minutes, roughly six minutes ago, and you had a couple of rough possessions. Was that a, a tense time for you? It, it, believe me, when he's out for possession, it's the same with Manny here a little bit too. When those guys are in there, I'm screaming. Lou, Lou handles all the, the um, subs in and out. It's something in my mind, I'm so scatterbrained. Uh, Lou had the scout, and he's doing subs, so that tells you how hard he was working over there for this win. But uh, we like 13 in the in the game, that's for sure. But uh, he wasn't feeling very good coming in. He and Justin both were sick coming to the game, so those guys uh, gutted it out pretty good. And, and the guys that came in filled in tremendously for him. And, and again, we have those guys are good players, and we want them to make plays as well. Manny, in the zone, how did you think it affected Wichita State? You know, uh, kind of like I thought he like made them a like, jump shooting team. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really watched them or anything before, uh, but uh, they, they took some outside shots, and uh, you know maybe they missed some shots they normally make. But uh, we want them to be a jump shooting team a little bit and just uh, take away some of their shooters. And I think uh, some of our players did a good job with that. Uh, like Juwan and Devante, they got to contest some of the shots. Uh, so they did a good job of taking the threes away, uh, the late contests and stuff like that. So I thought. I thought Man, you, you talked, talked about, about the environment here. Do you think you've been quiet near the end? Is that about as satisfying? Say, say what? You talked about the environment here in this game. <coughs> Quieting that crowd, was that about as satisfying as anything near the uh, end? I mean, it made it easier for us to communicate on defense. Uh, but, yeah, it was, it was a little bit of fun, so it was kind of nice. Can you elaborate a little bit, too, on, uh, you know, the wins in Hawaii were in front of, yeah, you know, yeah. neutral court wins. They're big wins, but neutral court wins. The yeah, fortitude that, that you guys had to yeah, take this one on the early, road. You know, is this the biggest win? Uh, I mean, the teams that were playing in Hawaii were pretty good too. Uh, Ole Miss, you know, they, they're really good. And same with uh, same with uh, San Diego and uh, Miami. and Miami. But uh, the difference is like these guys are playing in front of their crowd, one of the best crowds in the country. Uh, so they, 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 they're just that much harder to uh, play against uh, on their home court. Manny's played in some big environments too. When he's at Gonzaga, he did he did he. he had some really good games at Illinois and, and, and places like that on the road, so he's played in some, some big time environments. Manny, they made some runs in the second half, but they never got the lead back from you. Why were you able to kind of at least hold them off? Uh, I think we just kept sticking with the game plan. You know, uh, we stayed posed and not and not let it, uh, the crowd get to us or panic or anything. You know, we're a real veteran team. We have a great leader in uh, Jake Odom, which uh, when things kind of go crazy a little bit, he brings he brings us down a little bit. Uh, for example, that big bucket, he uh, those two big buckets he scored at the end, the, the two free throws and uh, and the end one, he uh, he hit those were just uh, two big shots. And to go more into it, uh, you know, he's he, I room with him on the road, and last night he just couldn't sleep at all because he was uh, that sick. And I know a lot of players probably would have uh, took today off, and but there's no way with Jake, you know, he's this ultimate competitor, and uh, he doesn't know he's gonna miss today's game. So a lot of credit to him too. Hey, Greg, did the zone help you keep the tempo more where you wanted it to? A, a little bit, yeah. You know, and, and um, they're so good when they get in the flow on offense. You know, they're a tough team to guard. And, and again, we were trying to implement and change change the pace, get them out of their flow a little bit. Um, and we, we have to slow it down a little bit against these guys. We talk on offense, too, after they score a bucket, get a couple ball reversals. And we didn't, we didn't stick to that completely there to start the second half. But uh, against a team like that, you certainly you don't want to let them get Greg, how much do you guys talk about the big picture? Uh, winning tonight, game out of first place. You still got crazy in another Wichita State game down the line. Still pretty much control. You know what, what we talk about, and what I'll throw out there every every now and then is talking about if you want to contend for something in, in March. You know, when you go to St. Louis and you stick around, that's really about it. I, uh, I don't think these guys look too far ahead either. You know, you got young guys here that are awfully excited about. Um, every game here and every game in our league, our next one, Drake's going to be huge. Every t We could lose every game on the rest of our schedule. There's no doubt about it. Um, and I'll never look too far in advance. And I don't think these guys do too either. You know, we, we're, we're, a, we're a good team. We're a hardworking team. Um, we have a lot of work to do yet.